Jada Snicker got Got the people's eye, yeah, I keep that vibe Better watch me now, the heat I'm coppin' now If that lace ain't poppin' out, then I'ma swap it out Jada Snicker got, Jada Snicker got 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 You two fam all them own feeds is back what's going on with y'all man your boy jay is here i'm here man as promised i told you i was gonna be hitting y'all with the on feet the lace swap the little quick fit you know what i'm saying for the air jordan 7 sham braze this is my first time owning this shoe this shoe first originally released back in was it 2006 I think it was 06, if, if my memory serves me correctly. I think it was 06, but that's actually a year after I graduated high school. But don't let me tell y'all my age. But yes, man, the Air Jordan 7 Chambray's officially returning. First time retro dope shoe, in my opinion. Releasing June 15th, Saturday, that is, at a retail price of $200. This shoe will only be in men's sizes, I believe. I don't think they will be releasing in GS. But don't quote me on that. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking on that. But um, this shoe, like I said, clean pair of shoes. In my opinion, we about to dive into the details and check out that shoe. But before we do, if this is your first time stopping through, make sure you stick around and hit that subscribe button. If you are already a member of the fam and you don't have that notification bell rung, I need for y'all to ring that notification bell. Like, hit that as well, man. Make sure that you guys get the notifications and tune into all the live premieres as well as when the videos do drop y'all get notified when everything is coming up man so y'all will be in the loop as far as everything going on, on the channel but your boy jay like i told y'all like i promised y'all i said look i'm gonna get all my first looks out the way then we gonna start banging out these on feats man so that is what we are here to be doing and real soon y'all i do have the on feet to the air jordan one the highly anticipated air jordan one unc toe so stay tuned for that man um i'm gonna try to get it out to y'all right after this one maybe a day or so at well not a day or so but a couple days because you know my schedule is kind of here and there but we're gonna get to that when we do man but get a video thumbs up man on feet to back let me know how much Y'all want to see these own feats, and I'm going to go ahead and bang them out to y'all, man. But besides that, man, we got some Air Jordan 7 chambrays to talk about, so let's dive right into it. Bang! Here we have them, y'all. The Air Jordan 7 chambray. They nice, bruh. They, they, bruh. I'm liking them. I'm like, these could really, these could really, like, I know it's a lot of heat coming out this year, man, but these could possibly be top 10 worthy. Definitely, in my opinion, these probably gonna make not even probably these gonna make my top 20. These have to make my top 20. This is a nice pair of Air Jordan 7s, in my opinion. The masses probably won't agree with that, but that's why we all have our own opinion, we have our own likeness, and stuff like that. You know, please buy what you like, do not let me change, persuade, or anything to your idea and how you feel about this shoe. Feel how you feel. If you don't like sevens, please continue to d dislike sevens. This isn't anything different from a usual seven. I just like it. I like the materials. I like the color blocking. I like the UNC blue. That's my favorite color, man. So, bang, y'all. Yes, sir, man. These right here, definitely a must cop for your boy, Jay. Double up worthy? Nah, I got, I got my eyes on other things for double ups, but definitely a clean shoe, man. So, that is just a quick summary. My thoughts, my opinions on the shoe. Let's go ahead and dive into the review, starting with the box. So taking a look at the box that it comes in, it does come in a regular Air Jordan 5, 6, 7 style box, black lid, red jump man, cement printing on the bottom. Taking a look at the size tag, it reads Air Jordan 7 retro color blocking is black, chambray, graphite. So that is the color blocking. I do recommend going true to size on your Jordan 7s. A lot of people say they get away with going half size up. I say, you know, 
comfortable fit you can get away with going half size up but i like my shoes snug fitted you know i like a nice fit so i can loose lace my shoes therefore i go true to size so with that being said if you want a little bit of space a little comfort room go half size up it won't hurt and true to size is what i would recommend but we all have different size feet popping to open the lid to the box y'all you do get a lot number a large style lot number these newer shoes have been coming with the bigger style lot number this is one of those boxes that does have the bigger style of course it does have a qc sticker right there on the other side real small but you can't see it and inside the box it will come with a white and green sticker y'all so white and green sticker you get white shoe paper inside the box and that is pretty much it for the box of the air jordan 7 chambrays let's go ahead and get back to the details of the kicks bang i like it a lot I'm just, I'm just clowning y'all, but Air Jordan 7 Chambrays, man. Here are both shoes, man. Real quick, y'all, I want to talk to y'all about the accessories and the extras that this shoe comes with, y'all. So, uh, starting off with the first accessory, nothing. This shoe comes with nothing but the shoes, man. So, no extra laces are included with this shoe. No hang tags, no nothing. If you want to call this an accessory, you know what I'm saying? Your little pull tab on the back, there you have it, man. But this shoe comes with nothing extra other than the shoes in the box so everything that you see that is laced up in the shoe other than black your boy jay did that himself man with that being said i answered those questions about you know did they come with laces or whatnot let's go ahead and talk about the shoes so taking a look at the bottom the outsole y'all nice looking outsole on this shoe as you can see you got your dark gray hits you got your white your black your white and all type of different designs man i can argue and say that that's a seven right there right I don't know, but you got all type of designs on the bottom. You do got a jump man right there on the bottom. You got your head of that blue to white, you know, nice little seven bottom, man. So that's the outsole. Taking a look to the uppers of the shoe, you do get that nice, soft, glossy midsole area right there throughout the middle. Get your rubber hit towards here to the back. You got your mountain peaks in the blue and the gray on the back. You got it right here towards the front as well. So, and it does have a little gloss hit on those mountain peaks as well, man. So, take a look at that. That's the mid. So, when you move up to the uppers of the shoe, y'all, pretty self-explanatory. Y'all, all over nice new buck. It's like a nice new buck, nice grade of new buck. And it does have that nice two-tone motion that we all, we all, I don't know, it does something to us. Whenever we go back and forth, we be like, ooh. Oh, ooh, yeah, y'all get the point, man. But it does have that. You can semi-write your name in it. I mean, it's nothing too crazy, but you can see it when you do swipe back and forth. Um, all over black, as you can see. Um, I do have the Citrus Sevens right here behind me, as you can see, and I referenced it a lot when I was talking about these in my first looks video. The materials, the um same type of new book, I want to say, is on both of the sevens i think they're very similar it might be slightly different but they're very similar man i think they're both nice grades of new buck or suede whatever you want to call it on both of each shoe but very similar man i just had to pull those citruses out just to kind of you know shed some light on that but beyond the black new buck you do get that light blue jump man stitch right there on the top Taking a look at the back, man, I seen on Instagram, a lot of people did not notice that there was a number seven on the back heel tab of Air Jordan 7. So if you were one of those people who did not know that, let me shed some light on that, y'all. So right there in the black outline, and as you can see, is a seven, a number seven, y'all. So you do get sevens on the back of Jordan 7s. It's not just like a triangle upside down triangle inside of that little pattern is a number seven but besides that you do got two three in your light blue color you got a nice gray pull tab right there on the back so pretty clean pretty just you know simplistic nice shoe i think that's what it gets me is just the simplicity of it but it does come og lace with the black laces they do not come laced up you might see them inside a foot locker on display or something like that laced all the way up because they lace them up but coming directly from nike they will not be laced up they'll be og style lace just like that one loop at the bottom you do got that nice black tongue with the perforated holes through it you got that nice little 
uh, what kind of, it's a seven tongue, I want to say. You got those little designs going all throughout it. And of course, if you guys know, no two pairs will have the same exact design pattern. They'll all be kind of different. But you do got your Air Jordan stitched in your blue right there on the top of the tongue. Nice little silky tongue. You can see that nice little pop of blue, man. That little blue coming from the back. You can see that from the front right there. So nice little color contrast on the tongue. When you take a look to the back of it, more of that silky material going all throughout the interior sock liner you got your blue hits and it will come with this little you know what i'm saying this little paper that a lot of jordans come with in the past taking a look at the inside of the shoe shoe paper no shoe tree y'all so the shoe paper streak continues if i can get it out but it does come with shoe paper no shoe tree comes with the shoe inside of the shoe you got a black insole with a blue jump man a light carolina blue jump man and it does have a side sticker in there man so that's pretty much it for the interior uh sock liner and stuff of this shoe trying to look for a manufacturer's date and all that good stuff but i don't think this shoe gonna let me be great today bro i don't think they're gonna let me be great okay it's on the back i'm tripping i'm doing too much it's right here on the back y'all so it does say that these were manufactured from january to february two month production so two months production on this in particular pair that I have, that doesn't mean that if you have a different date, yours is fake or not legit or something like that. It just means that they were manufactured at two different times. But the pair that I do have was manufactured in January. And my thoughts and opinion on the Air Jordan 7 Chambray, it's a cop for me. Let me know down below, is it a cop for you, man? If I had to rate this shoe on a scale from one to 10, I like them, man. So they're solid, they're a solid nine. A solid nine out of 10, nine shoe when it comes to Air Jordan 7s. I do like this colorway a lot. First time owning the Chambrays, I never owned them back in 2006. And I like the way that they put the, the materials, the quality, I think they did a good job with this shoe, man. So that is my opinions, my thoughts on the Air Jordan 7 Chambrays. Y'all let me know down below in the comment section how y'all feel about them. Let me know what color was your favorite lace swap and how you're gonna be rocking yours if and when you do get your pair, man. But besides that, I appreciate y'all as always. Like I said, man, smash that like button. Button on feet to back we gonna bang them out let me know how much y'all want to see the next one by hitting that button and besides that i'm gonna catch y'all on the next video let's throw these on feet and let's swap them out man your boy jay making movies peace Swap it out, swap it out, swap it, swap it, swap it, swap it out, swap it out. Jay the sneaker guy, Jay the sneaker guy, sneaker guy, Jay the sneaker guy, Jay the sneaker guy, yeah. Jay the sneaker guy. Swap it out, swap it, swap it, swap it, swap it out. You too, fam. Swap it out. Yeah. You family, yeah. It's our LUV. That's from me to you to me. You to me. Yeah, kicking magic flame. How I rock with it. Cop my two, three fifths and got a cup of sauce with it. Sauce with it. You two fam of me. If I'm rocking with it and it's heated, oh, let's get it. Kiss so cold and icy. Fit so hot and spicy. spicy. Feeling like a million in my brand new pair of Nikes. Swap it, swap it, swap it, swap it out. If that lace ain't popping out, then I'ma swap it out. Swap it out. Got the people's side, yeah. I Watch me now, swap it out. Jay the sneaker guy, Jay the sneaker guy. Better watch me now, swap it out. If that lace ain't popping out, then I'ma swap, swap, swap.
swap it, swap it out. If that lace ain't popping out, then I'ma swap it out. You two, bam, swap it, swap it, swap it. Watch me now, the heat I'm popping now. Yeah. If that lace ain't popping, not then I'ma snap it off.